Hello everybody, Walters954 here. In this video, I'm going to be going over flow loops. I'll be doing two different types of loops in this example, a basic one to display information and one to actually show you guys how to update records. What we want to do is take in an account name, look for the opportunities that are related to it, select a primary contact and then update those opportunities. If we look at the actual records that we have here, down here are all of the related opportunities that we have. And what we want to do is update the primary contact field. Right now it's partner test. We want to update this field to whatever we select from our flow. Let's take a look at our baseline flow right now. I'm going to hit debug so we can check it out. I've defaulted the name in here, but really we could type in any name. I'll hit next. My second screen is just for debugging purposes to kind of show you the differences of what they look like. And here it's all of the IDs of the opportunities that we're going to update. Next is a radio button selection of the contacts that are related to the account. And then the final stage is just updating all of those accounts in their primary contacts. Right now, this doesn't actually work. The update is just updating the opportunity collection, which we'll get into, but we've made no changes to the opportunity collection, so nothing happened. If we go back onto the record and refresh, we had selected somebody other than partner test, and it's still partner test. So let's jump into it. The first goal we are trying to achieve with this is to look at the collection of our opportunities that we get from our get record. In our get record, we are conditionally filtering down the opportunities based on the account ID that we get, and we are setting all of those opportunities that we find in this collection opportunity variable. We also collect some additional fields that we want to store for later and to use. What I want to do is display some of these fields for debugging purposes to understand, hey, are we selecting the correct opportunities? When we look at our first attempt, which was this debug screen of the before update, we added a display text, which I put in our collection of opportunities. That kind of worked. If we look back on the debug and run again, we can see that it displays all of the IDs. We can take one of these IDs and look for it inside of Salesforce. But this doesn't give us the additional fields that we need. There's no way of selecting all of the fields and saying something like I want the name from position zero. I want the name of position one. Even if we could do this, we would have to continue to add the numbers and go through to infinity, basically, in case our opportunity list was to infinity. So it's not very scalable. So for our first loop that we're going to create, I'm going to show us how to display this text pretty easily. Let's add our loop element. So this element is going to loop over all of the opportunities that we currently have in the loop collection. For the collection variable, let's select call opportunity, which we are setting from the get record selection. Then we need to select a loop variable. A loop variable is a temporary record that we will continue to set each iteration of the loop so we can manipulate an individual opportunity. We cannot work on the entire list at one time. We need to pull individual opportunities out of it or individual records out of it and work on that one record, then go to the next iteration in the loop. We're going to create a new resource. It's going to be a variable that will match the data type of our collection. In this case, it's opportunity. Select the opportunity for the object and the data type will be a record. We should not select allow multiple values for a collection because we are working on a collection already. Since we have our loop variable, we can iterate over the individual values inside of the opportunity object starting from the front of the list to the end. We want to display certain sets of information 
So we are going to do an assignment of text and concatenate strings together so we can build more human readable text for our debugging. Let's drop in our assignment. We need something to hold the text that we are concatenating into. We'll create a new resource which will be of type text. We can leave everything else blank. Let's select our text resource. For the operator, let's leave it at equals for now and start constructing the string that we are going to use to see all of the values that we want. We select the temp opportunity object because that is what we're using in this section of the iteration. At first glance, you may think that this is the correct way by adding multiple assignments to that text value but it's actually wrong. Let's save and check this out really quickly and to see why that's wrong. Instead of going straight into the screen where we're just seeing that collection that we already had, let's delete this and move through our loop, connecting everything together. Our loop connectors gives us two options for each and every collection or after the last item. For each means that until the loop is finished, we're gonna continue to go through this process after the last item means what we're going to do once we're at the end of the loop. Choose for each, Let's move some of this around. For each item, we are going to gather the display text, then go back into the loop continuously. Until we get to the end, then we'll go back to our screen. Now on our display screen, let's add in that new variable that we had there. Let's run this to see what we have. Right now we can see that only one item is displaying. When we look through the debug details, we can see that there's a lot of updating that's going on and the current value is actually being updated every time. To solve this in our assignment, we actually need to change this to add. The equals operator sets the value to whatever the temp object name or ID is. Since ID is the last item in that list, it sets it to ID. Let's run this again and check it out. Here we go. We can see that we have the name coming in here and the IDs after each other. So this is looking a little bit better. We're able to rotate through our loop and see all of the information that we want, but there's more that we can do to make this more user friendly. Let's go back to the assignment. The value assignments are actually treated as text. So we can combine and concatenate things into one string just on one line. Gonna copy and paste this in here, delete our second section, and I'm going to add it in the line break keyword. Now that looks a lot better. We can read it a lot easier and see each of the individual records that we have. We can also pull in more fields if we wanted to see something like the primary contact before it gets updated. Let's pull in the primary contact ID to finish things out. All right, so that is a basic loop. In the next video, we'll be going over how to select the primary contact and update the opportunities primary contact ID using another more advanced loop. Thank you all for watching. If this video was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below how you have used loops to display different sets of information. And remember, I believe in you.